I've just realized I've got here to start this video and I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the the name of the crane Zu Ziyun Ziyun I'm gonna call it Ziyun so forgive me if this is wrong and bear with me but here is my thoughts on using the Ziyun crane to fly a Canon DSLR specifically the Canon 80D <laughs> Hi, I'm Grant, and I've read a lot of good reviews about the Zion crane out there on the interwebs. And I shoot a lot of real estate interior or real estate video, so I was after a crane to fly my Canon 80D, specifically with the Tokina 11 to 16 lens. This is so I can match it with the rest of my shots as opposed to having to get a third party gimbal such as the Osmo or something else. So I went to the manufacturer's website after seeing the good reviews on the crane and I see they have upped the payload or the maximum load capacity of this crane to 1800 grams or 1.8 kilograms. This is not a comprehensive review of the Zion crane, but rather my experiences I've found to fly this specific camera and lens combo. So I weighed my Canon 80D with its Tukina 11 to 16 lens, and it came in at 1311 grams or 1.311 kilograms. So I ordered the Zion crane. I have to say first up that it is actually a really nice piece of kit and it comes quite well specced out with a nice hard plastic box, it has two sets of batteries and yeah overall has a very nice feel and build quality to it. However the acid test I needed to test this with my Canon 80D so I eagerly read the instructions and balanced the camera on the gimbal and went out and shot some footage. Here are some pictures of my initial test shots using the Canon 80D with the Tekina lens using the Zion crane and unfortunately it is just not cutting the mustard as you'll see in these pictures. I just couldn't get it to run smoothly and I tried making adjustments in the app but to no avail. It also did this annoying jerky movement when panning the gimbal, which obviously I'm not a big fan of. Another point to note when using this bigger style DSLR camera body is it's quite difficult to flick these over to run them in the underslung mode because of the way I've had to balance the camera. They, they hit when I'm trying to get the handle upright. In defense of the Zion crane though, I believe it really is made for mirrorless camera systems such as the Sony A7 series or the A6300 and this is rather a big form factor for it. And also in a lot of the other reviews I have seen there, they are running stabilized lens or running in camera stabilization, which this Tekina lens and this camera combo don't have. So I do believe that probably really helps when using the gimbal. I also tried lightening up the load and running my much lighter 50mm prime lens on my Canon 80D which came in at... However this wasn't much better and admittedly because it's a zoomed in lens it's always going to be harder to stabilise and, there, and again there was no image stabilisation either in the lens or in the camera so a bit of an acid test but still not a win for the Zion crane. However as I said and this is purely from my experience I strongly suspect that this really isn't made for the size of camera and weight even though they've kind of uh, upgraded its load capacity and it really is uh, perhaps a mirrorless, better suited to a mirrorless or smaller form factor camera than this setup. On the bright side I do have a mirrorless camera system coming to test very shortly um, so maybe I won't sell it just yet and it also highlights to me just how good the DJI Osmo which I've tested in previous videos works so well straight out of the box. All in all, unfortunately, the crane with this camera lens combo was a bit underwhelming and it didn't do what I, that I was specifically after. Anybody want to buy a secondhand Zion crane? 